Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be learning about how miners speak transaction. For that here we have a miner as a PC, then a block which is about to be mined. So here in this block we are familiar with block number, then we have just understood about timestamp in the previous video, we know what nonce is and of course the previous as. Now here in the data field we have collection of transaction. So question is how do the miner select this transaction and from where? To answer where the transaction come from, they come from something called mempool or memory pool, which is attached to every node and every miner. It contains all the unconfirmed transactions that get stored here before they are included in a block. We know block is added in Bitcoin blockchain in around every 10 minutes, but transaction happens all the time. It's not like if you perform a transaction right now, then you have to wait 10 minutes. You can perform any number of transactions anytime. So all these transactions are put into mempool. We will talk about mempool in upcoming videos. For now just understand every node or miner has mempool attached to them and it contain unconfirmed transaction. Now the miner need to include some transaction into the block. For better convenience, let's say a miner can add only 3 transactions in a block. But in real, the limit is different. It's around 2000 if I am correct. So how the miner gonna pick the transaction here? Well, if you look at the mempool, here we have transaction and lots of other information. Among them, and important for now is the transaction fee. These are transaction fee the miner will receive if he adds that transaction. We will talk in detail about the transaction fee in future. For now, transaction fee are non-compulsory and it is specified by the person who is performing the transaction so that his transaction would be proceed earlier. So it depends on the person performing the transaction. He can put higher fee or lower fee. It's his choice. Now if we think from the miner's perspective, he will receive more reward if he includes the transaction having higher transaction fee. So of course he will pick the transaction having higher fee. Hence he will pick this, this and this one transaction first since he can only pick 3 transactions in our case. Now he puts the transaction into the block like this. So this is how the transaction come into the block. Then he performed the mining operation. You know how it is performed, the value of nonce is varied and after 1 second the timestamp increment, then again varying nonce from the beginning until the value has its found. This is a case for one miner, what if it is a mining pool with lots of processing power? If you remember the question from the previous video, this is what we gonna answer now. We know the mining pool has capacity in the range of quintillion hashes in 1 second, so 4 billion nonce range is nothing which caused the problem of mining pool being idle for the rest of the time in one second. Which is huge waste of capacity, so what is the solution? The solution here is to utilize the remaining time of one second so that the mining pool won't be idle. Here to utilize the idle time, what the mining pool does is, it changes the block configuration. Let me explain you with an example. So here in this block, in data field we have 3 transactions with the highest fee. Now let's say miner start the mining operation and in 10 milliseconds the mining pool completes to check whole 4 billion nonce rings and now it still got 990 milliseconds left which is what we need to utilize. So in order to utilize the remaining 990 milliseconds, the miner changes the block configuration. He will remove one of the transactions among three, one with low fee and another transaction from the main pool is added. Let's say this one is added, the transaction is selected having higher fee you know why. So here the data field is changed, which means all the nonce value is valid again. So the miner will check through whole 4 billion nonce range for the valid hash and again if he didn't find the valid hash, he will perform the same operation, change the block configuration, replace the transaction in the block with other from the mempool and check through the whole 4 billion nonce range. This process continues until the valid hash is found. So this way the idle time is utilized and since the transaction happen all the time, we won't run out of transaction. So this keeps the solution to our problem. Hence this is how the miners pick transaction. Both single miner and mining pool. I hope you have understood it well. And on this note, I'll see you in the next video.